In this tutorial, I'm going to share how you can connect cursive fonts in Design Space, and I'm going to share two ways that you can do so. So the first way is the way that I prefer. I like to click on my word, and when I click on my word, it is one image. All of the letters are in one rectangle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the Layers panel, and I'm going to click Ungroup. Once I click ungroup, all of my letters are now standing alone. They are all detached from one another and I can move them accordingly. So I personally like to take each one and then drag and drop it where I would like it to go. Now that all the letters are put together, we have a cursive word. So we are getting closer and closer to the final look that we want. But there's still one more step that we need to take. We need to weld each of these words together to make one word again. Because if you look really closely, you still see lines in between each letter. And if you run it through the Cricut just like this, they are going to um, cut out as individual letters still. And so we're gonna have a mess on our match. So what we're gonna do is we are going to go ahead and drag and drop and we are going to come down here to weld. Now if you need help knowing the difference between welding and attaching, I'll place a tutorial up in the corner for you so you can know why welding is important and why attaching for this purpose would not work. Okay, so now that we have welded it all together, we can see that there is continue a continuation between all of the letters. There's no lines in between. So now the Cricut is going to cut this out as one file and we have one file again. Okay, so let's try another way that you can connect cursive fonts in Design Space. So I have the word hello again, and what you can do is you can come up here to letter space, and this is going to de decrease or increase the space between each of the letters in your word. So what we want in this case is we want to decrease the space and we want those to start connecting. So we're going to come up here and we are going to click the down arrow button to decrease the number and therefore decrease the space in between the letters. So you can keep Keep just decreasing until you have the desired look that you'd like. That looks about right. And then what we're going to do is, again, we still need to take that additional step because we still see lines in between our letters. And where you see lines, you will see a cut. So your Cricut will cut that out. So even though, yes, it is one file, everything is attached, you're still going to see a cut. So why don't I go ahead and actually just place this on the mat for you? See this one that we did first, we welded it all together and there's no cut lines. The second one, we haven't done anything yet. So we see lines between the letters still and again where you see a line you're going to see a cut. So we still need to take that extra step. So let's go ahead and click it. We're going to come down here and click weld. And then we have our cursive word. Okay, so let's try it with a third word. I'm going to choose the word happy. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try using the letter space and I am going to, let me duplicate this one more time just so I have it and we'll hide that. Okay, so I am going to try and do some letter spacing um, using, using that letter space button. I'm going to decrease the letter space like we just learned and see if that works. So I'm going to go ahead and reduce that. Okay, so now I'm looking at these letters and they don't really look very great, right? They don't look, the P and the P and the Y don't really look like they really belong together. They look really smushed. The H and the A look wonderful, but the, the P and the P and the Y just look really crowded. So what I'm going to do is, this is why I personally prefer just detaching and dragging because there are some letters and some words that you're gonna come in contact with that are not going to want to be all connected at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and group and I would show you how I would design this. So I have the H and the A and the P. Those look great but these two letters can actually still get close but don't necessarily need to be connected. So then I'm going to go ahead and bring those together and I am going to weld. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you found it helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know how you're crafting and maybe what project you're working on right now. And I hope this helped you connect um, and learn how to connect your cursive fonts because there are so many beautiful fonts out there and sometimes it gets a little confusing when you load them into Design Space and they don't quite look the way you thought they were. So this is just a little help so you can really start appreciating those beautiful fonts that are out there. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video.